Do you see how I start this vlog? Very mindful, very demure. I'm very cutesy and I'm very calm. And we're gonna spend the day together. Okay, so if we're real for a second, we actually all know that I might be the opposite of the word demure. And this trend going around just feels unrelatable to me because I'm a little too wacky. But here's what I want to show you guys. I worked a wedding the this past weekend and I got to take home some flowers. They are so gorgeous. Let me give you a quick tour. Look at these. Don't mind the hydrangeas and the fact that they're kind of falling apart, but ooh. Next bouquet. And finally. I have like 15 minutes till I have to leave for work. So I have to figure out what I'm gonna eat today. But I'm thinking yogurt for breakfast because that's super easy. Let's chat about what is annoying me right now. And what's annoying me right now is one of my neighbors. I don't know who, where, what. I know what, actually. A dog. Their dog, every single fucking morning, barks. Just yips. It's not even a bark, it's a yip. I know that bitch is a small little crusty ass white dog. And it's so annoying because it's every morning. And it's not even like it's late in the morning. It's 7.50 in the morning right now. Like, tell your dog to shut the fuck up. Like, people are still going to sleep. And if this is going to happen during the school year, I'm going to be annoyed. But anyways, here's my yogurt. I don't have any berries. So it's just strictly honey and chocolate chips. So I turned it into a sugary mess. Very demure. Very mindful of me. School starts in officially exactly two weeks for me. I'm not excited. I think it's gonna make me incredibly busy and I'm not gonna have enough time for my video games. I've really been on a video game kick lately. Two weeks ago, it was Among Us. Now I'm really into Roblox. I think that means like next up is like Minecraft, which would be very exciting. Does anyone else wear like sweatpants? in the summer like it's literally mid-august and i am just walking around chilling in sweatpants to be fair it is not the warmest in wisconsin it's a very hit or miss but i also just like the comfort of pants is unmatched specifically sweatpants sometimes a good jean i don't know i just don't want my legs touching so let's talk about what i think is gonna happen today we're gonna spend the morning here just for a little bit finish breakfast i'm gonna make my lunch for the day i'm gonna go to work i'm gonna come home and we're just gonna chill. That is what I need. I need just a chill day. And you know, I'm not gonna be a dick to you. If I don't do much today, fine. I will expand this vlog into two days. Yeah, you've watched me eat almost all this yogurt. So I'll finish this off and I'll see you later. It's time to go to I'm feeling a little saucy on this Tuesday morning. You know, Chad went home for a few days, so I have had like no one to talk to in person. So it's great that you guys are now here to keep me company. However, my first day back talking to people never goes super smoothly. I've been told I get a little weird, but I'll be good. I'll be good, I promise. Ooh, let me tell you guys a story that beep just remind me. So when I go backwards and I get close to another vehicle, my car starts to beep at me. And when I first got this car, I didn't know what the beeping meant, to be honest. I did not take the time to learn. I inherited the car, luckily. So it's not like they told me when I was buying it. And to me, I thought that meant my seatbelt wasn't on. And I actually have a video of this experience because it happened when I was like a freshman or sophomore in high school. And I was vlogging, of course. Why would I not be when it happened? And I literally ran into the family minivan going backwards because I did not stop when I heard the beeping because I assumed it was for my seatbelt. And I put a huge ass dent into our family car. And I sat in the parking lot for probably 20 minutes sobbing because I thought my parents were going to kill me. Respectfully, I just put a big ass dent in their car with my car.
I am sobbing because I just, oh my God, I nailed my minivan. That was me. And yeah, I was fresh behind the wheel and it was very disheartening. That was a really tragic experience. And if I can find the vlog, because that whole vlog will never be on the internet because anything I produced in high school, I think needs to be scrubbed. Honestly, anything I made like five months ago needs to get scrubbed. I don't know if anyone else, I'm going the wrong way. All right, I guess I'm taking the long way around to work. Anyways, everything that I make and put on YouTube after like three months, it embarrasses me. Cause I'm like, who is that? Who is that person? Like if you go watch my content from like three or four months ago, is it the same vibe as now? Absolutely not. So that's what my thoughts on that are. I can't believe I'm going the wrong way to work. I'm literally going completely around my campus because I missed the road I was supposed to go, but it's fine. Here I go. This is me just fucking talking because I have not talked to anyone in so fucking long. So I think I just, you know, need to take an absolute fucking chiller. And here's this guy on the bike that I saw earlier. He's gonna think I'm lost which to be frank, I am. Anyways, I will see you guys later. I don't, I think if the longer I keep you up, the more crazy my thoughts are gonna get. And I'm just gonna start saying shit that none of us wanna hear. Here is my lunch. Super beige, super brown, but it's gonna be so very good. Guys, today sucked. Today's work sucked. It was just boring, stupid, and I am sad now because today was just uh, so mid. So I'm going to treat myself and I think we are going to go get Boba, which I've never done for the vlog. And in fact, it's probably been like a year or so since I've even gotten boba. But I'm excited to go have a really, really sugary drink that I think's gonna hurt me later because it has so much sugar in it. Actually, I haven't had boba from this, wait. No, I've totally have had boba in a vlog before. What the fuck, am I stupid? Maybe, I might be stupid. Guys, I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about right now. I just, I'm like out of it. I'm so out of it. I need, I need my special drink and I need some food cause I'm hungry and then I will be better. I will be better. Good, how are you? Can I please get a sunset paradise with passion fruit boba please? Thank you so much. Package secured. Now that I'm back home, let's give this boba a try. So I got, I don't know, a sunset dream with passion fruit popping bubbles. This is really good. This is exactly what I needed. I think I'm so like stressed and hate everything I'm doing right now a little bit because I'm just getting a little nervous for school coming up and what comes after school. I feel like the expectations of what is supposed to happen after college is just like constantly looming over my head right now. And there's nothing I can really do about it. Let's review. I'm gonna need a job. I'm gonna need an apartment cause I can't live on campus anymore. Life's just getting really, really expensive. So I've just got like the anxiety of life over my fucking head and this boba is fixing it as much as it can. There's only so much it can do. Do you know what will help me though? A snack. I really need a snack. All right guys, welcome to Dinner with Bella. Today we are preparing a good batch of California style vegetable mix. So this is super easy. What you do is you go buy yourself a cheap bag of whatever vegetables you like from Walmart and you put them on a little square, I don't know, like cake tray, I think this is what I bought this for. Once you have it on the bag, you take your extra virgin olive oil, that's apparently not open. You just give the, you know, ooh, that was a lot in that one corner. I didn't mean to do that much, it was a new bottle. Anyways, you pour that over the vegetables and then you take garlic powder, same thing, over the vegetables, onion powder. over the vegetables. 
Give it a little rough shake and then you stick it in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. And that's all it is. It's done. The next day. Hey guys. Forgive me. Obviously, I did not film enough yesterday. So, day two. Super exciting. Yesterday, and this would have been fabulous of me to take you on this journey, but I forgot. I made ginger apple cider shots. I'm gonna try to drink a little bit every morning. I had a little taste last night and she was not good, but I am feeling better about my attempt today. Cheers to, I don't know, bettering ourselves. Name a better way to spend the rest of our vlog than cooking with Bella. You can't. Today, we're gonna be making chicken tenders. Here's the story on chicken tenders. We usually make chicken nuggets, except Chad has a meeting, so we don't have time to mess around and make a bunch of chicken nuggets. So I thought maybe it'd be faster to make chicken tenders. Basically what I'm gonna do is just cut it into strips like this, and then we'll do a like little flour egg coating seasoning type of beat. They're also slightly frozen because Chad and I got these, well, yeah, we didn't get these out of the freezer at an appropriate time, so they're really cold to touch. You're probably gonna wanna do this with thawed chicken, most likely, ice cold. All right, for your next step, you're gonna need three bowls all-purpose flour, an egg, breadcrumbs. In the first bowl of your little lineup is gonna go the flour. The second one's gonna be the egg. Whisk that up. And in your final bowl is the breadcrumbs. Don't tell Chad these are the breadcrumbs he doesn't really like. We're out of the ones he does like. All right, and then this next step, super easy. You're just gonna take a piece of chicken, coat that bad boy in flour, both sides. Looks like this, into the egg bath, and then into the breadcrumbs. Chicken tender, and just, you know, rinse and repeat. <laughs> coated all the tenders, we air fry them. So I like to just lay them on my little air frying plate because I have like the oven air fryer. This one, we ran out of egg wash. So it's a little longer than its friends, wider. And then we just stick it in the oven for 400 degrees for like 20, 25 minutes. Here it is guys, it looks so good. And thank you all for watching. <laughs>